pre Oxford and the trophy. Asa, I imagine when you're trying to break into that first level on a regular basis, this is the sort of game that you know you're looking forward to sort of get your opportunity and just remind the gaffer what you can do. Yeah, that's it. I mean, obviously, flying top of the league and, you know, can't really have many complaints about not playing or getting in the team. So, yeah, when these games come round, it's nice to to think, you know, rotate rotate the team a little bit and um, get an opportunity to play. And also, how useful is it or how nice is it that if he goes with a few of the younger players as well, suddenly you're one of the senior players they'll be looking up to? Yeah, I mean... Um, you know, I think as you get older in your career, you always seem to to know that's going to happen, and um, you know it's, it's a good opportunity for the young lads as well. I mean, you know, the gaffer's going to be looking at them, and um, maybe takes pressure off me a little bit. <laughs> but um, no, it's good, and I'm sure I'll uh, I'll lead them quite well. Certainly. And in terms of last week, obviously, Boreham Wood wasn't the greatest performance in the gaffer's own words. So a couple of people wanting to get back on the bike. Have, have there been sort of Frustrated people around the the training camp this week? Uh, not so much frustrated, I don't think. Maybe a bit disappointed in themselves in the last few um, performances. But you know, Gaffer's done a review of the game, and people know what they're they're doing wrong or not been doing like they have been um, for the rest of the season. So you know, it does give them another game and um, to get back on the boat, like you said. When you go to places like Oxford City. How do you prepare for it in terms of you know, probably opponents that you don't know as, as well as you might do week in, week out in the National League? Um, I think, you know, it's another game where we've got to really step up and I'm sure everyone who plays Cheltenham at the minute is going to be up for it like a cup final. So, um, you know, we need to approach the game like that as well and, and not underestimate anyone and, and go and give it a real good go on Saturday. And the young kids coming in... How easy is it to gel with them? I mean, how much work do, the, the, do they do sort of stepping up with the first team during the week? Yeah, I mean, they're always sort of in and around the first team. You know, we know who everyone is and, you know, there's some good young players here and I'm sure when they get their opportunity, they're going to be well up for it. And um, maybe teams like Oxford won't know anything about our young lads, so that'll give them something to think about as well. Yeah, the surprise package. I suppose, actually, Cheltenham being the size it is, there's probably less of a divide than there is at other places between sort of first team and youth team, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, we haven't got the biggest squad in the world and that's no secret. So, um, you know, the, the young lads are often used in training and, 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 and they train well. So I think they've deserved their opportunity if they get it on Saturday. Good man, thank you, good luck. Cheers. Thanks. So how frustrating is it for you being, being fit and and sort of looking at Pelly and, and Stora playing well every week and yeah. just not being able to sort of have an opportunity. I know, I mean, um, obviously last year I sat watching and couldn't do anything about it and this year I'm, I've worked very hard to get <laughs> fit and I feel ready and, and fit and waiting and it, it is a case of waiting and, you know, as you said, they're playing well so I've got no complaints. Um, but it would be nice to get in the team and, and get a run of games. Yeah, obviously Pelly's on nine yellow cards. You you <laughs> look at every time the referee <laughs> has yeah. a word with him for a tackle, they go, yeah. oh, it is a chance. He's always likely to um, <laughs> lunge in at some point, Pelly. So, um, yeah, you know, I mean, I'm not really waiting for Pelly to get 10, but that might be an opportunity to, to get a couple of games in the team. And that's sometimes what it takes in football. You, know, you almost had that wonderful super sub moment again, another Bromley moment on there yeah. on Saturday. Did you think that was in when it left your foot? I did, yeah. I mean, just gambled off righty really and hit it early, but the keeper pulled a great save. And, you know, it was a frustrating afternoon Saturday and we had lots of chances, but obviously they could have nicked it as well. Yeah, you came on on the, on the right side of a, of, of a four that, that time. Was that a position you played a lot? No, I haven't played it a lot, um, but I think I said before I'd play left back to, to get in the team. Yeah. Um, but I mean, you know, as a midfielder, you can sort of play anywhere on the pitch. I think so. It's nice just to get on, and a goal would have been would have been the icing on the cake. Yeah, I hate to drag up last year, but you must know how Aaron Dans will be feeling at the moment. Yeah, I mean, you know, I felt really sorry for him. Um, I think he sort of knew straight away, and mm. you know, it's a, a mental thing rather than rather than anything else for him. But you know, he's going to be a massive loss for us. But we've got to make sure that it doesn't affect the season. Yeah, is that the kit that the kind of thing that the, the resolve around the group has been saying? Well, let's let's let, let's use this as motivation and do it for him almost. It is, yeah, and um, you know he's been around and he sort of said, you know, don't let it affect you as well. So, you know, we we've got to stay strong mentally as a, as a squad and um, get through it. And the next few games are really important. Thanks. Right. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.